Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, a sweet little girl and her loving mother lived in a little cottage on the edge of a big, bright forest. The little girl had a red hooded cloak that suited her very well. That's why everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her grandmother, who lived at the other end of the emerald forest, fell ill. To Little Red Riding Hood's mother, who quickly prepared a beautiful basket of food. Please take this meal to your grandmother. Go out of the forest, she said, but don't talk to strangers you meet on the way. Little Red Riding Hood set off. He walked happily through the forest with his basket on his arm. By the way, she didn't notice the big wolf following her. The wolf suddenly appeared before Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you going? asked the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood said, I'm taking this meal to my grandma. The evil wolf smiled. And then, pick some flowers for grandma. He will like it very much. Little Red Riding Hood stopped to pick some flowers. The wolf smiled again and ran off into the forest. Little Red Riding Hood had a plan to steal the food basket. After a while, the wolf reached the grandmother's house. Grandma was reading a book in her bed. The wolf, who sneaked in, tied the woman's hands and feet and hid it in the closet. Then he climbed into bed. He's wearing your grandmother's hood and glasses. He pulled the blanket over himself and waited impatiently for Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood knocked on her grandmother's door. Grandma, I'm here, cried the wolf, in his cracked voice, come in, darling. I'm in my bed. Little Red Riding Hood said, hello, grandma. Then she looked at him in surprise and said, what big eyes do you have? She said, to see you better, the wolf muttered. Little Red Riding Hood said to the wolf, what big ears you have. To hear you better, the wolf muttered. Little Red Riding Hood started to think that something was wrong. Little Red Riding Hood wolf, what big teeth you have. She said, so that I can eat all the food you brought, said the wolf, and rushed off and locked Little Red Riding Hood in the closet. Then she ate everything in the house and what Little Red Riding Hood brought and fell asleep. Little Red Riding Hood made so much noise to get out of the closet that a woodcutter finally heard her. The woodcutter, who came running to the hut, noticed that the sounds were coming from the closet. Then he broke the lock of the locker with his axe and saved Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. The wolf was still asleep, snoring. The hero lumberjack took the wolf to the zoo as punishment. The grandmother then invited the woodcutter to tea. Thank you so much for saving us, said the grandmother. The woodcutter said, laughing, the wolf won't scare anyone from now on, and they all had a fun tea party. Have you ever been to the zoo? I went to a zoo in Turkey. There, they host, care for, and feed the children so that they can get to know the animals. Children see how animals live in the zoo and have a good time. 